about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They're stepping back from royal duties. Announcement that's said to have shocked senior members of the royal family. Let's uh, talk more about this. Uh, royal commentator Victoria Howard is with us this morning. Morning. There is no escaping the fact, especially that we understand that senior members of the royal family, and we take that to mean the Queen, were unaware that this announcement was going to happen. Yes, um, the statement that Buckingham Palace released a couple of hours after the Sussexes made their own announcement um, sort of underlies those, underscores those tensions that we, we can feel between the two offices. Um, so it's, it's quite clear that they probably haven't discussed this all the way through before the announcement was made, which I'm sure you'll agree is quite unusual. If you've not made plans you know, fully, you're not really going to announce them. Well, within the royal family particularly, yeah, everything is um, militarily organised. So many people that have, um, you know, former military careers that are part of the office, that everything is done precisely. There's a strict hierarchy and everyone is expected to, to fall in line, essentially. And this isn't what's happened this time. Well, taking, so, taking putting aside the royal families or Buckingham Palace's shock and hurt disappointment, do you think it's actually what they've done is so surprising? I don't think so at all. Um, I was personally surprised it came so soon. You know, the couple have only been married for 18 months and sort of been trialling rural life together for nearly two years now. So I was, I was probably expecting it in a year, two years' time, when they'd you know, really given it a go, tried all the different avenues within the royal family to make that role work. But no, I think many people will understand the decision for it. So then the next question is, why now? What, what has prompted this? I think that six-week break they took was definitely a time they wanted to take for reflection, to discuss all their options together. Um, and it, it seems that just everything that happened in that 18 months since they've been married has just been too much for them, that they think there's another route that they could take. There's also the uh, talk of a rift between Prince Harry and Prince William mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, and that is also um, coming into play here. If, if Charles, the Queen and William haven't been um, told about this or it hasn't been discussed with them before the couple decided to tell the public. Um, apparently the website was made without the palace's knowledge. Um, so all of this has just been done in a very unusual way. And, and some are suggesting it's because the tabloids have got hold of the story that they were going to leave the royal family, as it were, and they wanted to get ahead of it. But that's not really the, the PR game that the royals are used to playing. In a way, it illustrates perfectly how tricky this will be to work out in practice Definitely. when you see the headlines around the world talking about the fact that they want to have a different kind of life, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a quieter life, but that in itself is an enormous story. It's going to be very hard to make that leap into whatever it is that their future is. Exactly, and the, the questions that are now being asked are, are about how that is actually going to work, because semi-royal life doesn't seem to, to work all that well. Um, you can't sort of have one foot in one camp and one out. So the, the couple only get a small amount of funding from the palace for their office. Um, Prince Charles privately covers the rest of their expenditure. Um, and it means they, you know, they can't um, have jobs and earn money. Um, something that sort of, I was unsure about in their statement that they wanted financial independence. Mm. Now, Harry has never been financially independent from royal money. Um, even when he worked in the army for a decade, he had always, you know, that, that £40,000 roughly is the estimate he would have got. That was not going to fund his lifestyle as a royal. Um, so I'm not sure that is a wholly convincing argument excuse me, argument that they, they want financial independence. That's the reason for this. Very interesting seeing a um, reaction in the media around the world. I mean, I think the Mail has called it its bombshell issue issue or something like that. But we can show you the um, New York Post as well. Um, Mexit. I mean, I think The Sun had something very similar, didn't it? Yeah, Mexit it had, it had the same thing as well. Um, we quit. They're re leaving for a commoner life. It's never, it's never going to have a common in this life. No, absolutely. And, and the, the best way we can sort of compare this is probably to Diana when she left the royal family after the divorce, shortly before her death. Um, she strived to set out on her own, her own charitable humanitarian works, with her own foundation, her own funding in that way, because of who she was. And that is going to benefit the couple in terms of people are interested in, invested in them in that way, and want to support their you know, great causes that they've already championed. But the question is, how do they do that outside of the, the official royal funding and um, outside of the royal family while still supporting the Queen? And I'm sure now a lot of people will be interested to hear from Prince Charles, Prince William. Inevitably, those questions will be asked as Definitely. to what they make of, of the decision. Absolutely, and I'm sure the press are going to try and get something from them in the next few weeks on, on you know, the next engagements they undertake. Um, the royals themselves will stay tight-lipped. I'm sure we'll get a couple of statements um, in the coming weeks about how these things are being worked out behind and the scenes. And immediately, I mean, uh, will they be 
carrying out royal duties? I mean, how, how, is it is this day one of the, of the new thing? Uh, so they're hoping it's going to be sort of phased in by the spring. So the next couple of months will probably be that transition, working everything out behind the scenes period. Um, we may see a couple of engagements just related to the, the courses they already work with, you know, the Commonwealth, the Invictus Games, which are planned for later this year. Um, but it, it's, not, it's not set in stone at all. Victoria, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Let's see, time now 